friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet bins haul video. Last week I popped down to Nashville. I live in the Middle Tennessee area where I am a full-time reseller, full-time in the sense that that is my primary job. Um, I don't work it full-time necessarily or nine to five, but I went down to Nashville to my local Goodwill Outlet bins and the prices have gone up from $1.29 to $1.49 as of this last month. It must have been since the last time I went to the bins. My last bins haul I did not film. I had gone, had every intention of filming it. I went on a trip with my husband where he was away working and I got super sick um, for like three weeks. So it was not COVID, it was influenza A and it just took the life out of me. So. Um, it has taken me a lot of energy to just get back into the running things and getting things listed. So videos were not a primary uh, focus for me, but I'm back. So this thrift haul I'm going to um, put into two videos because of the amount that I got. I did get 80 pounds of goods and a couple things for myself, which I think will be in the second half. Um, uh, as far as my last bins haul, I'm going to post a video in another couple weeks about the, just the sales I've had from those items that I got at the bins, it, the quick sales and the best sales over the like month that things have been listed. So again, this is from the Nashville um, Goodwill Outlet slash bins, and they did go up to $1.49 a pound. I don't normally go on Fridays, and this was a different experience. There were fewer bins out and not as much to dig through as I normally do. So it was an interesting trip and I knew I was only going to go through once, get my things and go home just because of um, other things I had to do that day. So I ended up, I think with 80 pounds um, and a dollar 49. So it's like a $119 or something like that. Um, and again, I did buy some things for myself. So there are some things that I've talked about before, how I don't always check comps at the bins because I don't get very good cell phone service and I don't take the time to do it because it takes a long time for things to load. But because there were fewer things and fewer bins to dig through, I had a little bit more downtime. So I was able to weed out some things that I did not want to bring home. Um, and then there's always things that I just buy because I like them. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I did not pick up a ton of sweaters. I think I got a lot of sweaters in my last outlet trip and so I had plenty of sweaters to keep me busy until you know sweater season is upon us. The first up is this um, sweater and a lar Ilari Yari maybe. Um, it's baby alpaca and it was made in Peru and it is just a button-down cardigan with this fun kind of abstract floral print color blocking it's super soft and it is a mm, I don't know what size this is I'm thinking it's about a medium large um, I'll just do measurements on it and it may be on here I'm just not showing where it is anyway just because of the alpaca I went ahead and got that and it has these really fun wooden beads so I felt like that was well worth bringing home um, for someone to enjoy this fall and winter season. This is just a, I wish it was buttoned, J. Jill. It's a size large and it is stretch and I'm sure it's Pima cotton or something like that. 86% cotton nylon and lycra. So I just liked the yellow pop of color and it's just a button down cardigan with some pockets in the front. See if I can get the button, one of them buttoned here. And typically I just liked the pop of color on this and the size was pretty good. I don't always pick up J. Jill, um, something that plain. Next up is a Free People Beach item. It's a size small and it's just a tank style dress with um, kind of a split in the back. It's got some pockets, real beachy, obviously from the name, loungy, comfy. It's in this brown color and it is made of 
Mm -mm -mm. Something. It's made of something. Cotton polyester linen. So anyway, things that I need to get listed. I plan to be going on vacation. Um, again, <laughs> hopefully I don't get sick. Uh, in a few weeks to my hometown in Northern Idaho. So I wanted to get this bins trip in so that I could have things banked for the last like four days I'm on vacation so that I can get things listed and get back and running with the algorithms because if you put your, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks. And so if you put your vacation hold on your closet, you know, it takes a while to get back up and running. So next up, I just threw this in my car, super lightweight. It's just a V-neck tank, muscle tank with a pocket. It's made well, size medium. This honestly will probably sit in my closet for four years before it sells, but whatever. Um, next up is a pair of pants, white with an elastic waist and a cropped length, kind of a wider leg. And I, this doesn't have a tag in the back of it. And I felt like it was Eileen Fisher, but, um, I went ahead and looked at the tag and it said 100% organic linen, but then it said, we want our clothes back. Even if they're worn or torn, bring them to our U.S. stores, blah, blah, blah. So they have a take back program. And I felt like that was Eileen Fisher. So I went ahead and threw these in my cart and I think they're about like a size medium. I just need to do measurements, but it's pretty forgiving and they're white, which I was scared they would have, you know, marks or stains. I don't wear white. Um, so I sort of was hesitant to pick them up, but I think they'll do all right. Next up is something that needs to be lint rolled, but uh, it's a Woolrich size large and it's just a sheep sweater. It's a couple bins trips ago, I got a sweater, but it had um, like felted wool and sheep on the front, like an applique. This one does not, but it's still a cute style. And it did have a little bit of pilling, um, but it is, 100% lamb's wool. And I just, you know, thought it was really cute and perfect for winter. Okay, next up, it was an item I picked up. It's Jay McLaughlin. Might be McLaughlin, but McLaughlin. It's new with tags. I don't, I have never sold anything by this brand. I have a few things in my closet, but this is 100% cashmere, new with tags in this baby blue color. Lightweight, V-neck. Actually, it's like a split neck almost. There we go, split neck sweater. And in three quarter length sleeves or a shorter sleeve. Anyway, I think that will do well. Cashmere and all. This is just a pair of Express size 12 pants. It's the editor. And I tend to pick up the editor and the columnist. They seem to do all right. And this is in a size 12. It's a gray pant and it has sort of this black um, accent here on the back. Clearly I haven't shot a video in a while. I can't even speak. Okay. Next up, this might be something that ends up being mine. Just never can tell, but the brand is Zella. It's a size small, but it's very oversized for even my extra large body. And it's a, <clears throat> just a fleece with a hood and a kangaroo pocket pouch in the front. Got a few little linties, but I just thought that was cute and cozy and it was in very good condition. All right, next is a brand I've never found before. Um, this is a men's shirt. It's a men's brand. It's 100% cotton. It's a slim fit and Bonobos. I legit went on their website to find out how to say it because I feel like it should be Bonobos. Bonobos. <laughs> it's just a green, kind of army green, um, olive drab color button front shirt. This is the cutest thing ever. It is um, not buttoned, but the brand is Ted Baker. Well, it's Baker by Ted Baker. And it's a kid's little shawl neck sweater. A little, it's button. it buttons like a little girl's sweater or women's clothing, but I saw this list as boys. It's unisex in my mind, but typically, I mean, Primarily boy-like colors. If you go with those things, it's just cute. They were retailing for or reselling for like $10, but how could that go to a landfill? How could I let that happen? 
Next up is a pair of Lane Bryant size 14, 16 pair of pants. They're just a pull on um, elastic pant and they have sort of, there we go, pockets, just a relaxed pant. And I can't tell if that's a mark or not, um, a cropped leg. So I thought those were really cute, just pull on. Next up is Victoria's Secret, and this is a bodysuit. It's got this satin and lace sleeve with this crossover detail, and then it has a thong bodysuit. So that's really cute or pretty, I guess, more so. Next up is a North Face kids size medium windbreaker rain jacket and in really nice condition the liner was in good condition so went ahead and grabbed that this is a men's rei i'm sorry a women's rei extra large quarter zip mock neck Layering top, quite frankly, I bought this maybe for myself if it doesn't sell. I've mentioned it in other videos. My husband and I go camping in the winter a lot in our camper and it's nice to have layering pieces, but this was in really good condition. Although um, Aria kind of retails for a lot, doesn't always resell, but it does resell for me. So I am happy to do that or to pick that up. Uh, next up is Sundance, which is a catalog brand or former catalog brand now online. It's got this pretty em embroidered front and this kind of pleating. It's just a top gray with these real pretty sleeves with this micro pleating and then the back. And uh, this is made out of cotton and polyester, but I kind of, they make a lot of things out of silk and um, wool and linen. So it was a nicer fabric. This is a brand I've never heard of. It had European sizing, Grifflin Paris. This is a size large. It's a lightweight popover with this nice plaid. It's real textured. These half or three quarter length sleeves. And I did look up this brand while I was at the, uh, the bins. And you know, comps are okay, but I liked the style of the top. All right, this thing probably cost me $10 because of how much it weighs. Um, but I just, just don't care. So let's see if I can figure this out. I wish it was buttoned. Story of my life. This is a vintage coat and it's double breasted up here on the top and it's long line. This had like no moth holes, no nothing. Um, I feel like this is a, a real fur collar and it's got, um, a union tag on it here. So it's definitely vintage. I mean, obviously, and it's a Ciari original S I A A S I A R I. Um, there was a little tear in the liner in the shoulders, no big deal. And it says a Kane Sloan co out of Nashville. So this, I just, I just couldn't let it go to a landfill. Um, I don't know what size it is, but I'll just take measurements and we'll see what happens. I mean, it just, it was just too fabulous to leave behind. And I've sold quite a few, quite a few, three or four um, older vintage coats. This one's some from the 80s, some from the 70s probably. This is just a, a scarf. It was from Cato, $10. I just grabbed these to throw them in as like a gift with purchase for people. Okay, next up is another Sundance item. It's a size large. I actually have the same piece in my closet, but I think it's an extra small. It's just a real cute uh, zip up sweatshirt top with this ruffle neck detail and then a peplum hem. And just a real stretchy, lightweight, it's gray. Very cute, um, size large, and it is 94% cotton. So happy to pick that up. 
This is just a, um, if you've watched my other videos, I've been making a box of cashmere items that are, have holes or are too worn to wear to make into a craft lot to sell, like a five pound lot. And I needed like one more sweater to top it off, but I found a couple on this day. So I'll probably just start another box. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get for it, but I, there's such nice fabric and I feel like somebody will enjoy having that. And I just, for what I pay per pound, I was happy to pick this up. This is a Glen Leon or Leon or Lion, 100% cashmere sweater. It had, um, where's the hole? It has a hole in it somewhere. And so this is just for that craft lot. Same thing with this one. This is a Brooks Brothers Pure Cashmere Turtleneck. And um, it had holes somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where they are. But it has, oh, right here in the back of the sleeve, big hole. So that's going in there. And then this last cashmere piece is has holes, holes everywhere. Um, and this was uh, Barney's New York size small cashmere so I'm not sure why I'm showing the tags it's just a cashmere like actually it's a sweater dress maybe lightweight cashmere so just a variety of things that will go in that box okay next up this kind of gave me Filson vibes um it's Walker and Hawks it's a 3XL I'll show you the tag in a second it's 60% wool and variety of other things. It's made in England, which was what intrigued me. It zips up and then it's got button front detail. It's just sort of a, you know, a hunt, hunting vibe, woodsy um, sort of thing going on. And these actually didn't comp out too horribly. So that one I picked up without looking um, the comps up just because I liked the style and I felt like I could sell it by, on that alone. Okay, next up is an older label J. Crew tag. Um, it's a holiday 2011, so it's older. But I just really like the style. It has like a vintage looking vibe to it and men's plaid flannel uh, with 100% cotton. And it is, yeah, holiday 2011. So eventually that'll really be vintage. This is a wrinkled hot mess, but it's J. Crew size extra small. And it is a 100% linen um, and it's it needs to be steamed, but it's a little tank, crop tank with these um, ties at the top. And it was, I feel like relatively new. Spring of, it was just spring of 2020 too. So from this year, um, I guess somebody wore it and was over it. This is a new tag airy item and it is a size medium. This may be, I feel like it's a lounge dress or like nightgown, um, but they make, you know, the comfort line of American Eagles for it's all girls clothes or women's clothes, size medium, but it says chill out on the back. And it's this thermal knit, it Henley buttoned, long sleeve um, night nightgown. Here's a scarf that I'll just throw in with a bundle purchase and it is free people. And you know, these don't count for much. It's cute cotton scarf though. So I'd be happy to throw that in when somebody buys something. Next up is a <clears throat> Michael Michael Kors size large, real chunky knit turtleneck sweater in this great red color, real boxy fit. And it has the little barb on the um, label. And so it, and it looks brand new. I don't ever list anything unless it really has tags or I know if it was from my personal closet. It is a po cotton polyester blend and has the little Michael Kors um, tag down there at the bottom so that was cute now if I were a size two which it's been a minute like sixth grade or something um there's someone's name on here it's a Calvin Klein jacket and it is a gray dark charcoal gray 
really difficult to show you how cute this is, but it's got this, it's a jacket, built-in belt, so there's no belt attached, um, with this pleated bottom. And it's kind of a midi length or hit below the knees. And it is a size two, so that's a smaller size. But I don't know, does a wool jacket really ever go out of style for somebody? I just think this is a really cute um, style. It's 60% wool and then polyester rayon. So I just, this is a substantial coat. My last wool coat I had for ever because they're just always good. All right, this has a flaw and I knew that when I brought it home. It's the men's store from Bloomingdale's and it's just a men's sweater, brown. It has a flaw right here in the front. I'm gonna try to fix it. Um, the reason I wanna fix it is because it's 50% yak and 50% made, or merino wool made in Italy. And so, you know, if I can, it's kind of right in the front, um, but I was hoping I could just do a little bit of a fix job on that. And if I can't fix it to the standard of free selling it, I will keep this for myself even though it's a men's. I don't have a problem doing that. <laughs> Next up is Prana. It is a size medium. And it's just a knit top with this cable knit kind of going down the front, short sleeves, got some mixed knit in there in this great purple color. And, oh, it's called the Nadine, I think. Yeah, the Nadine. So I will need to look up to see what is made out of it. It feels like cotton, but that tag was, um, not present so go ahead and get that I don't pick up all prana unless it's for myself um, I do like prana stuff this is a <clears throat> new with tags it's Calvin Klein and I'm sure this was from Costco or Sam's Club it is a size medium it the MSRP is $60 it's just a workout or a lightweight you know knit top with this funnel neck design and it's very lightweight, it's super stretchy, but it was new with tags. So if somebody wants to bundle, they don't care if it came from Costco by all means. All right, next up is a size 3T by Vineyard Vines. I have a hard time leaving these little <laughs> Vineyard Vines things behind in this gingham check. And it's just sort of a tunic length top. Um, and it's probably 100% 100% cotton because it is fall of 18 is when it's from and 100% cotton um and it's just it's cute all right next up is an Eddie Bauer 100% cotton skirt in a size 10 and I just liked it's got a side zip and it's in this coral color. It's just a, it's like an A-line skirt, but it has a little bit of ruffling here and just a nice condition. Also, I picked up this Eddie Bauer size large button front shirt in this real kind of abstract floral. Um, Eddie Bauer is also sold at Costco and Sam's Club, so they kind of, it's hit or miss. It's 100% cotton, though, um, and so I was happy to pick that up. This is a, uh, kind of, here we go, wrap. Uh, poncho with this fun print in this orange and purple tan color. Um, I got this just for style and it is, if I can show it, Michael Stars and they're usually one size. I'm going to assume this is one size, fits most. The tag is a little loose, it looks like maybe it was tagged on there, but anyway, I didn't see any runs in it, which this fabric tends to get a lot of, especially if my rings tend to snag things a lot. So I have to be very careful with them. Um, this is super cute. It has a few little pulls I need to fix, but it's a size large and the brand is Habitat. 
which I usually pick up for like a lag and look type of brand. Um, lots of kind of layered linen looks, but this is a knit sweater dress with these asymmetrical kind of stripes going through it with this real textured knit and these buttons and it's got an abstract kind of shark bite hem bottom or handkerchief bottom but it did have a few little pulls nothing major so i just need to go through and fix that and it might be missing a button here i can't quite tell some of their stuff is abstract or you know a little more artsy so it's hard to tell sometimes it's 100 percent cotton let's see if i can't find other photos to see if that needs to be remedied or fixed okay this is just a gap denim shirt in a slim fit size medium and it's just a denim chambray shirt with but it has these pearl snap buttons and buttons down kind of a western shirt so I went ahead and grabbed that. So those are all the things that I got out of these first couple bags. So we're, cause we're about a half hour here. Um, I don't think I did too bad. I like to always count how many items that I'm getting to see how, what the cost per item is, but I just did not do it this time. So if anyone wants to go back through and count all the items, that's great. But I will say that when I went through everything and wash things that needed to be washed and sorted things there was only one item so far that um was stained that i did not notice and that i tossed um so and it weighed hardly anything it was just a t-shirt so i feel pretty good about that sometimes i come home and something requires a lot more work than i'm willing to give it so um, stay tuned for the next half of this and next week's video will come out and then following that will be that video where I kind of talk about my last bins haul and some of the sales that I made from that so that you can see if I made any of my money back from that. If you aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified for when I post future content. I typically post once a week. This summer has been an anomaly, so I apologize for that, but please follow me along on this journey. It's so fun to be a reseller. When you get to make your own hours, be home with your dogs, take vacation with your husband, and still be making sort of money on a long weekend. It's, it's just a, it's a great thing. I know some people are experiencing, you know, negative things, or, uh, having difficulty on Poshmark or other platforms, but I just have been trucking right along. So again, I'm Trish with Source. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.